Hello, my name is Chuck Sutton here with Isotope. I hope you're having a good day and I'm so excited to talk to you about vocal synth. This thing is crazy because it can transform your voice, you can play chords with it, you can even take your own audio sources and transform them back into your voice. It can seem a lot at first, so in this video I'm going to walk you through exactly what to look at, when to look at it, and how to use it. Let's get started. Before adding vocal synth, this idea is just too cluttered. I'm not really sure what I should be listening to, it's all hitting me at once. After just five minutes of singing with vocal synth, everything cleared up. If you've never seen vocal synth layout before, it can look overwhelming, but we can boil it down to three different sections. The top section is where all five synths are. The middle panel is for mixing and controlling your voice, and then the bottom section is where you can add effects. To rearrange the effects order, it's as simple as clicking and dragging. Before we turn any of these on, your first step should be going to the top of the screen and selecting which performance mode you're going to use. With auto mode, all you need to do is sing, and vocal synth will match the pitch of your voice in real time. In MIDI mode, you don't have to sing any notes. Instead, vocal synth listens to your MIDI keyboard or your piano roll and shapes your voice into the chords you play. In sidechain mode, you don't have to sing notes or play them. You can just take any type of audio, drums, guitar, choirs, any sound source, and vocal synth will merge your voice with the audio. The default mode is auto, so all I need to do is turn on a voice and start singing. La, 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 la. To fix any background noise or breathing, I can use the gate to cut out quiet sounds. <laughs> To make a preset more musical, I can turn on the pitch correction. This menu lets me choose the key of my song, and when I turn up the speed and strength, it turns every pitch I sing into a perfect note. At the bottom of a voice, you can change its character by using the small left and right arrows, or by clicking on the drop down menu. Next to these settings is an input slider. You can use this if you want to hear your original voice alongside the synthesized version. On every voice, opening up the advanced menu gives you more control over your expression. Even more variation, the preset manager is filled with great starting points, and modifying them is just as easy. If you choose a preset with more than one voice turned on, you can use the flower in the middle to change the volume of each one. The next two modes take the pressure off of your singing ability and give you way more room to interact with the rhythm and flow of your song. I've already made a MIDI chord progression and this is what it sounds like. I'm deleting any instruments off of this MIDI track because I won't be able to route to vocal synth if there's another instrument occupying it. First I'll select MIDI mode in vocal synth, and now I'll show you how to send the MIDI through. Up here we're on one audio, that's the name of the track I have vocal synth on. So now I'm going to change the output of this MIDI to vocal synth on one audio. Now when I talk into vocal synth, you'll hear the same chords. how I sound without vocal synth, I sound crazy. <laughs> 
sidechain mode is even easier to use. No MIDI or singing is required. We're going to start with this great vocal stack from Maxwell. This is what it sounds like before vocal synth. Just like the MIDI, I'm going to change the output of the track to one audio, search for vocal synth, now they're merged, and my voice will blend with the sample loop. Even though it's called vocal synth, you can also use these on other instruments like drums. So I'm going to throw on vocal synth, and from my experience, CompuVox on drums sounds the most like beatboxing. To set up this effect, I put vocal synth directly on my drum group, and I've kept it in auto mode so no extra routing is required. Throughout your track, you can automate the dry wet and have this really cool transition. If you're new to making music, especially digital sounding music, being able to use your voice to arrange and compose is a great way to make producing feel more intuitive right off the bat. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time using vocal synth, let us know in the comments. If you make your first song with it or implement it into any sort of new techniques, feel free to tag us, me and Isotope, and we'll be sure to check it out. Peace.